all right hello everyone and welcome back to the channel let's see what we have to do today on clover all right hello everyone this is tom nook it is 9 13 this happy tuesday october 4th again it's still 2022 i haven't changed that yet uh now for today's news my staff timmy and tommy opened up their new shop today it's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your island life. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use the drop-off box to sell your items. Ah, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass market item can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now, with all that said, I hope you everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterward. We'd like to see as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by at Resident Services if you're interested. Oh dear, never fails. Of course this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Aha, uh -huh. one moment please. Hello? This is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, what? The getaway package? Why, yes, yes, of course! And that's all for today's island wide broadcast. Ah, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the. In Walks Away. Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kaylee, and this is our island clover. And this is going to be a witchy, foresty, swampy island. And today our objective is to complete all three of the houses. Um, so we can get our next three villagers. And if you didn't know, those three villagers that we get will always be a peppy, uh, normal, and a lazy. I almost said jock, but it's a lazy villager. We also have leaf on the island today. So I think I want to clean up all of these weeds. I'm not going to do it yet because we might have to make a hay bed that requires weeds. So I think first we're going to go talk to Nook to do the three plots. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up a getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw up a proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. Kaylee, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Clover getaway package, and wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. That's great. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Er, wonderful, except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes setting aside the land, preparing all furniture is just too much for one raccoon. <sighs> but, Kaylee, here you are in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. I suppose, of course. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, c come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. All right, so first we're gonna have to build a bridge and I still do have a decent amount of stuff in my pockets and I actually do think I am going to craft our workbench because that way we can bring it with us to the plots and we don't have to keep running back and forth. So before we get started on anything, I am going to craft that workbench and I thought it took more than one iron nugget, but it's only five wood and one iron nugget. So it shouldn't make that big of a dent into the materials that we've already come by in the yesterday's episode um or the last episode that came out and then let's talk to tom so we can get our uh to do items which is going to be that bridge all right here's what i'm thinking we really should start by building a bridge across the river somewhere with three homes to build i worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible a bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction 
So that's why I'd like to start by crafting the parts for our bridge base, get your DIY skills ready, and then we'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. Alright, so he's going to give us a DIY, and I think for this we just need to craft um, a few of the log stakes, and then we'll have to have stone and clay. And I think I have that already, so we might already have all the materials. Let's check. So, bridge, we need four log stakes, and then we have plenty of clay and stone. I didn't know we had so much, actually. And then the log stakes are just wood, and we need four of them, so that's twelve. So we can actually just make it in here real quick. All right, first we need to craft all of the log stakes and this would be a perfect time to have bulk crafting. <laughs> I know everyone said that before that they'd like bulk crafting. I mean, it is kind of nice in the beginning, feeling like a little bit of a grind to get things going. But now that we've been playing this game for three years, like honestly crafting these four log sets over and over again, it's just a little bit time consuming, but that's okay. Um, so that was three and then this will be our fourth one. Oh, do I not have any room in my pockets? I don't. What can I, here, I'll put on the socks for now. There we go, all right. They look a little goofy in this outfit, but that's okay. Um, there we go. And then, like I said, we won't be able to get our fourth pocket lineup until Isabel gets here. So we're kind of stuffed with our three for now. All right. And then our bridge construction is ready. And that should free up some room in our pockets too. So that's good. All right. There we go. And then let's go find a spot to put this. Actually, what did we get first? Oh, DIY furniture. And then we are looking to get the... Did I get the tool thing in the last episode? I can't remember. But I know I want to save up for the pocket extension, which is 8,000. So we do need to grind a little bit more, but let's find a place for the bridge. All right, so I usually put it on the side, but looking at our map... We might have like the most room in this top little section, like right next to where we are, like above where we are. So I think, will it fit here? I think this is a little small for it actually. Oh, it does work. Uh, this is the spot. And that's really nice because it's like right next to resident services. There we go. And then we'll go talk to Tom Nook again and then he should give us the three plots. So let's go chat with him. All right, we are back. We did find a good spot for the bridge set up. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a bridge up and it will be easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for the bridge construction to finish if you want or just ask me what should I do whenever. All right, we are ready. So I am just gonna go ahead and talk to him real quick. Let's do what should I do. The bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now. Please take these three housing plots. Alright. With the housing plots I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for three homes. Then of course these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. I think most of the time they're the same kind of recipes. I think they like vary between like one or two different variants for each home, but generally they're like the same items. So let's see what we got. Yeah, so like the simple furniture is for one and then we have like the soft wood kind of DIYs. This is the one that I did not want to see, the iron garden table set up, but actually we have 13 nuggets, so we should have enough for all of this because this is only eight. This requires two, so 10, and then two more 12. We actually have like one extra, and then we'll have to chop some more wood because we do need to make a ladder, and then we also have all of this stuff that requires a whole lot of wood. So do I have a ax? Okay, I do. Let's go set out the plots first. Actually, before we set out the plot, I'm gonna go ahead and empty out some of my pockets. I am gonna like place all of 
this closed because I think that counts for like your three stars. So I'm just gonna place them like right next to resident services for now. Um, and then that kind of counts as like stuff that we have on the island for our three stars once Isabel gets here. So let's just place all of this that I have in my pockets. I don't even know what I have. Here we go. A mirror. That's nice because then we can change our hair if we want to. And then that is something that gets placed in the house. So let's run to the house and then oh, our bottle. Let's see. It's from Ketchup. She's so cute. You know how to get so you know how you get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. I put it in this bottle, so check it out. This recipe is for sure a hit. Show it off once you're done. And then we got a log stool, which we already know. So that was kind of pointless, but thank you, Ketchup, for the thought. Okay. Is there anything in here that we can get rid of for now? We can hang up this clock. No. Um, hang on wall. And I think we only need 10 cherries, so I'm going to put the rest of them in storage. Um, here we go. And then I'm going to keep everything else other than these like materials and stuff. There we go. And then this is our DIY bench, yes. Okay, so now let's go place all of the plots down. And then I think we're going to place the plots in the same kind of direction that our bridge is going in. And I did do that good. I'm gonna put our vaulting pole there. There we go. And then I kind of want to start chopping down some of this wood first. So we don't get rid of any of these trees because then they kind of just like disappear. So I'm first gonna go ahead and shake through all of them to make sure that we don't get stung like a wasp like we did in the last episode. And then we also have our a couple fossils over here so we'll dig those up as well so we don't lose those in the process um let's see i also don't know like i said in the last episode i do want to complete our oh i think this is the, is this the first item oh bingo wheel and then like i said in the last episode i do want to finish our museum so there we go so i do want to collect all the fossils so they don't disappear because we can donate those. And I think that's all of the trees. So let's go ahead and chop some of the wood. This is our flimsy axe that we already previously used. So I don't know how far this is actually going to get us. But I guess we can just use the rest of it left. And then if needed, we can make a new one. All right. And then, like I said, Leaf is here, so we'll probably go around and pick up some of the weeds in a little bit. I don't remember if we did get the hay bale. Uh, oh, there goes our axe. But I know the hay bed thing takes up like 20 weeds or something. Um, so we'll definitely need to use some of those if we have that one. And then, do I not? I thought I picked up a couple branches, I guess not. Let's pick up those and then we can make another axe. And then I'm going to pick up these fossils before I forget. There we go. I need to reorder my pockets because I'm getting so confused. There we go. A fossil! And then I haven't had any of these assessed yet. So uh, there's also a pile outside of the museum that we can get assessed today. And then we should be close to the 15 that are required to open up the museum so we might be able to do that today too but we'll see because this, this whole project of getting the three new villagers will probably take a while and i've been thinking about if i want to go villager hunting now we don't have that many miles so we'd probably only be able to get a handful of tickets so instead i think i'm just going to go ahead and auto fill these plots and then a little later on we can go villager hunting once we have like all the plots and we have more nook miles because then we can actually use like a good amount of um, tickets to go hunting. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just autofill for today 
and then we'll see who we get. I know in the last episode we went on a villager, not really a villager hunt, but we went to an island and we got truffles. Um, so I went ahead and made a couple lists that I'll show in a little bit of the villagers that I would prefer to get. Um, there are a couple that I think would fit our theme. I haven't really talked about what villagers I want to have on this island yet, so that's another reason I think we're just going to autofill because I want to go ahead and make that mood board video and that will include like our villager lineup and everything. And then I'm going to really quickly break this rock also. But yeah, we'll go over a couple of our villagers that I want to have on this island during that mood board video because I'll go through like my build ideas and all that kind of stuff including villagers because I have a list of I think close to like 15 villagers that I think would fit this island but we have to narrow it down to 10 and then I don't know if I've caught this butterfly before yet so I'm gonna catch it real quick but let me know in the comments what villagers you think we should have on this island um, I definitely want to have some of the spookier villagers because I do want this to be a darker island so some of the villagers I would think would be like the all black villagers, some that are like a little spookier. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but ones that seem like they would fit into a like witchy island. Uh, so nothing like cookie or anything, but a lot of the peppy villagers I know are on like kind of like the girlier side. So I don't know if we'll get, I don't think there's any like peppy or normal villagers other than like maybe Kiki that I would even want on this island. So if we auto-filled Kiki, I feel like that's extremely lucky. Um, so I doubt that will happen. I feel like I always get like really horrible villagers as auto-fills. And, but there are some cuties that I wouldn't mind having on the island just for now until we do go ahead and get our like dreamy line set up. Um, but I just hope we don't auto-fill any ugly ones because we'll have to deal with them for a little bit until we can like kick them out and then get all of our villagers that we actually want. I think that is all the wood though so let's go ahead and I'm gonna try to like shove the plots in here they're relatively big plots because they give you like so much room okay that actually fit um they give you so much room to like put the extra items even though it takes up like a max of like four tiles and then no there's a balloon but Tom is calling us to tell us about the plots I've got some good ideas about popping that balloon. Come on. Oh no. Yeah, he's just telling us about the interior items and then the exterior items will go on the outside. But I really want to go get that balloon. Ah, and we have a slingshot. I still have to fix my tool ring thing. The yellow ones I think sometimes are money. So that will be very nice if it is money. Yes, 5,000 bells. Not too shabby, and I think that's maybe our only second one that we've had on this island at all. And then here is plot number two, and then this is the spot. I In the last video I said that I usually put all the houses on the beach, but unfortunately these ones do have to go on land because they have that like giant area for you to set up all the crafted items for them. Um, so they do have to go on the land so I kind of just try to clump them all together and then eventually when we get to decorating and everything I'll just kick them out of the way. But that is our second plot and then our third plot will go here. Yes that fits. And then I'm glad that we chopped all, that tr all those trees because we did have some disappear during this process but we already collected all of the wood from them so that is fine. And then I have a good amount of items already, so let's go ahead and check what our first plot wants. And I think this one is always set to the lazy villager. Um, I think it's like lazy normal peppy. I think lazy is always like the boy though, I'm not sure. Interior items, cherry speakers, cherry lamp, and a pot. Okay, I think we have all the materials for that already, so let's run over to the workbench and then we can craft those. I really want to know how they turn a real cherry into like actual cherry <laughs> items 
because they have like the cherry speaker, the cherry lamp, and then they also have all the clothes that you can craft. Um, like a cherry dress, a cherry hat, I think, and then like a cherry umbrella maybe? But how do they turn a fruit into an actual object? The logic of this game doesn't make sense. Okay, so those were our two cherry items. And then we also had to create a pot, which is five clay. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring this with me. So, oh, not the weed, this thing, the workbench. So we can just like put it in the middle so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Um, there we go. And then we can turn in these items. Our, we have all of them. So our, our pot, our speaker and our lamp. And then we can check what our exterior items are. Let's see. We have stone stool, stone table, and clothesline. Okay, I'm not sure if we have enough stone for all of that. Let's check. We need eight and three, so that's good. And then a clothesline, I think you need branches for. Yes, yeah, so we need eight more branches. Luckily, it didn't destroy all of the all of the trees, so we can still stay on the side of the island and get them. But I swear these trees are like the hardest trees to get branches from. In every episode, I feel like I'm struggling to get branches out of these. Come on! And I think you can get a total of eight from each one, so that's perfect. There we go. Well, it's like unlimited, but like eight in a row you can get. All right. And then we should be able to craft everything that we needed. Let's see, the clothesline. The clothesline is like, honestly, one of my favorite items in the whole game. I feel like I used like several of them on my island rubble. Um, we might also be able to use some of them on this island as well. And because I want to have like little witchy areas where like the witches would live on the island, like little shacks and everything. So I feel like we could use that item to actually decorate those areas with. So that's a good item to have. But let's go ahead and place all of these and I'm kind of just going to clump them all together just to get them out of the way. So we have our clothesline and then our stone table and then our stool and then this house should be complete so we can go to house number two and then we'll just go in the same order so we'll check our interior so we need a wooden block stereo a wooden block table and then a lily wreath so let's see did i create okay no so let's go ahead and craft a ladder because we will have to climb up on the cliff to get all of the flowers that we need and then we should have everything for that already we might have to chop some more trees eventually because I think we're gonna run out of normal wood at least. I don't know about the others, but definitely normal wood because that like wooden simple bed takes like 18 or something. All right, so one, and then I think it's three of each. So that's one of each, two yellows. I actually should use the wreaths more often. I feel like when this game first came out, you could just run around and put the wreaths on the door. But now I think you have to either gift the villagers their, their wreaths or you have to uh, do like the happy home paradise where you go to change their houses. Because I think if you've crafted a wreath, you can then like use that whole process to add a wreath to the door. That, I don't know if that's 100% correct, but I'm pretty sure you have to do it through Tom Nook now to give them a wreath. But I swear when this game first came out, you could just run up to a house and add a, um, a wreath. Let's see. Okay. And then we need two of these wooden block toys. I think you can still put it on your own house, but I think for like the other villagers, you actually can't just add the wreaths to the door. I might look that up later because I swear that you could do it. 
Okay, so we have our two wooden block toys and that allows us to craft these and we might need more soft wood actually, I'm not sure. I kind of wish we had more items that you had to like craft other items in order to craft these. Yeah, we need one more soft wood. Let's see. I didn't chop any of the wood from the cherry trees. So let's see, okay, there we go. One soft wood. That was a lot easier. And then I don't think we'll need it for anything else. So that is lucky. Let's go ahead and craft this one. And then we do have to check the exterior items for this one too. And then I see a butterfly. Do we already have that one? I think we already have the monarch. But let's turn in our interior items. I should have all of them unless I messed up. Okay, we do have three. There we go. I feel like whenever I've done this, I always mess up once and make an item that I don't need. Like I'll make a low table instead of a bed or something. So I'm going to try to focus and not mess anything up. Okay, so iron chair, iron table, and then a birdhouse. Let's do that. I know that you don't always get the same items for each house and everything. So I remember back when this game first came out, I think I had the iron table set to make for the houses and back then I feel like I didn't really know how to play the game so like it was so hard for me to get all of the iron for these things I think it took me like a couple days just to complete like the first few days of this game and then was it birdhouse or I think it was a birdhouse right oh we need more softwood for that Okay, let's see. Can we get some more wood? All right, so one, two. I don't know if we have any more trees on this side. We have this one. Okay, let, we're gonna have to cross, oh, there's one back here. We're gonna have to cross the river though to get more soft wood. Oh, and then we have a Another balloon. I know I've seen a picture that kind of like says all of the types of balloons and what items they actually carry. Isn't this what we just put in my house? I think that's exactly what we just put in our house on the wall. Oh well. And I don't really do any like interior decorating, so kind of pointless, but that's okay. I was saying I might want to like challenge myself on this island and actually do some interior decorating. I'm just like not the best at it. So I've kind of just like always abandoned our houses. Um, on Saffron, I did decorate the front room. And then we actually have a bagworm here too. I'm gonna collect that guy. I did decorate like the front room of the house. So that was like the most interior decorating I've done in a really long time. And then rubble, I didn't decorate anything. So I was kind of kind of is what it is but maybe for this island because I do want to push myself a little bit to actually play the game more on this because I've gotten into this oh and then of course now we don't have a flimsy axe either and I think we still need one more uh soft wood and then I only have one stick so we need four more yeah, so a couple of the things I want to challenge myself to do on this island is one, finish the museum, like I said, and then two is do Happy Home Paradise so we can customize all of the houses um, for the island because some of the ones that I have planned already, I know their houses don't really match the style. Like, example, Kiki, like I said earlier, like she would be a great fit for this island, but the outside of her house is like yellow, I think. So that definitely does not fit the theme of the island. So I would want to do at least the exteriors. If I really want to push myself, we could decorate the um, interiors of the houses too. But I do want to decorate the at least the interior for my own house. And I kind of want to decorate all of the rooms. So like the center room, the three side rooms, and then, and then the attic in the basement because that's just, I don't think I've ever decorated my whole house before. Even on my island pebble, I didn't 
decorate the interior. I put like wallpaper up in my room and then that was kind of it. Okay, we got our soft wood. But I think I want to challenge myself to do that and I feel like it's kind of fun to watch people do interiors. I don't know how much fun it will be for you to watch me because I'm not that great with interiors, but you'll see me struggle at least. Um, but I do watch some people and I swear they're like interior decorators in real life and people use items in such creative ways like using like the wall partitions or the um what's it called like the pillars and the counters and everything they always do it like so crazily good and use them in like such creative ways like making like balconies for houses and then some people use like um what am i thinking of bingo wheel iron chair um like the designs the custom designs to make like windows with like a cool wallpaper on the wall and i think that is so amazing and i've never done something like that so i think it would be kind of fun to push ourselves um wooden simple bed wooden chair and classic picture okay but yeah so finishing the museum customizing the exteriors and possibly interiors of all the houses and then i also want to actually do some terraforming on this island so as you if you visited my other islands or have you seen my tours of my other islands i do very minimal terraforming i flatten the whole island and then like on rubble we had like one tiny lake and oh we we're missing wood too I think we had some over on the other side. Let's see. I think we had some over here on the ground, maybe. No, but we can chop some more. But like on Rubble, we had the one tiny lake and then a big chunk of terraforming. And then, oh great. Ah, we're gonna run to the tent. Oh no. <laughs> At least this time we didn't get stung. Okay, so I just ran into the tent to try to get away from the wasp, and then I stopped talking because I was just going to wait until we came back outside, but Tom Nook was talking about the signs on the houses, so I don't know if that means that the two houses that we already finished are going to have the signs up on them, but we can check in a minute. I just want to grab some more wood real quick. Okay, and that should be enough. Let uh, let's go back. So I don't know if we already have the signs on the first and second plot because we technically finished those. I was gonna just try to wait until every- yeah they already have signs but I'm going to wait until we finish this plot. Okay let's go back. All right so let's see I already create- I already crafted the chair so we need the wooden simple bed. And then I can't remember what the other item was. We'll have to go check. Oops. I was supposed to be paying attention and then I forgot. Let's see. Interior items, wooden simple bed, wooden chair, and classic pitcher. Okay. Let us donate these ones and then we'll make a pitcher. And then real quick, let's just check the exterior items too. So we don't have to go back and forth a few times. Um, lar log garden lounge, log stool, and water pump. Okay, if my mind can remember those four items in the next two minutes. Let's see, let's craft. Um, okay, so we need a log stool. Luckily I have a ton of wood now, so I shouldn't have to go ahead and run around for anything else. But we will have to make the campsite in a few days after all of these villagers move in, so we probably will have to do some more hard work to get all of those items but all those materials but for right now i'm not going to focus on that i just want to finish these three plots real quick and then and the water pump was the last one i almost forgot what it was and i was going to be pissed at myself <laughs> there we go okay let's turn in the pitcher and then we can place the items and then I think I have to walk away and go talk to Tom Nook again in order to get this third one to pop up. So let's turn in all of these items real quick. The classic picture. And then we can place these items out. Let's see. We have our water pump. 
And then we just have the stool and the lounge left. Uh, log stool. And then the lounge. There we go. All right, let's run back over to the tent and then I'll go see if when we come back, the third one will be with a name on the side. All right, all right, so he is, okay, everything is finished. There we go. Thank you, Tom Nook. I think he gives us the fencing now, um, which is nice because you, because when you go for three stars, it is nice to have the fencing up because I think that helps with your rating to get you to three stars pretty close. We won't go through all of that work today to try to get to three stars because that's a lot longer of a process, but I do want to finish our three plots today. Okay, let's go check them. All right, let's cross the river. I also need to talk to my normal villagers because I haven't talked to them today, I don't think. I also left all the stuff on the ground. All right, the first plot I think is gonna be our lazy, let's see who it is. It's Mo. He's the blue and yellow cat. I'll put a picture of him on the screen. Um, he's definitely not one of my dreamies, so not one I would want, but that's okay. And then we have Blue Bear. Again, not one of my favorites. I know a lot of people actually like Blue Bear, but I just feel like she's a little too basic for me. I like, I like a little spunk. I don't know. Some of them, like normal and peppy villagers, are just a little bit too normal for my liking. And then we have Nan. Nan actually fits our theme pretty well. So I think Nan is the best one out of these three that we get. So that's good. And then I know you can technically reset these if you like log out of the game immediately. Like you have to do it before the game auto saves on you. Um, but I don't really care that much to do that. But oh well. And then I am going to go ahead and run around and pick up all the weeds and then I will meet you back at the plaza in order to sell all of these to, um, what's his name? Leaf? And then, yeah, so I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, we are back and I went ahead and de-weeded the entire bottom layer of the map. I left the top layer because honestly I was getting a little bored and my pockets were basically full. So let's go ahead and sell these to Leaf real quick. This is my first time ever meeting him. He is so cute. And I saw someone playing this game the other day and they had Leaf in their Brewster. Like their, the Roost, there you go. I couldn't think of the name of the actual coffee shop. And he has like a little sprout at the top of his head, like under his hat. And I was so confused. I was like, I do not remember him having that. And then I remembered he usually wears a hat. So he had his hat off and it was like a little off. See if I can find a picture of it, but it looks like a little sprout, like a tree sprout at the top of his head. It looks really cute. I just didn't know what was happening. But he is one of my favorite NPCs. I think him and um, Flick are tied for my favorites. So I love him so much. He's so adorable. And I wish we had more sloth actual villagers. But anyways... All right, we're gonna sell all of our weeds and we have 555, so we get 11,000 and that is pretty good. And selling to him won't affect our like Nook's cranny or anything. So that's a little bit of an easy way to get some money without having to make our Nook's cranny any bigger. And then I don't think I want to buy anything from him, so I'm good. I'm just gonna sell him my weeds. And then I figured now we can go through and First, go ahead and see the shop because it just opened today. And then I also want to go ahead and donate everything to the museum. So first, let's go ahead and... Oh, I don't want to ruin any of our flowers. And then after meeting Timmy and Tommy in their shop, we can go through Blathers and then donate everything one by one, which is such a painful thing to do. And then Mabel's here. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much, my, much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice, even though we haven't been here all that long. In just a short time, Blathers has moved in and we are able to open up this shop. Experiencing new things every day has had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. 
Actually, I came here today to check in on you all and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. You're, we're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think... Something come to mind? Well, we have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having in the shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that. But we still need a clothing supplier. Aha! Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. So overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do that. Do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Alright, so we met Mabel. So now that we've come into the store, we'll actually get Mabel visiting the island. And that brings us one step closer to actually getting the Able Sister shop on the island, which is also very helpful. One, for designs, two, clothes, and then three, it can help with your star rating, so it's easier to get to three stars if you have the Able Sisters already built. So that is a plus. But the real reason I just wanted to come over here was to meet Mabel so that she does come to the island. I don't really want to buy anything or sell anything because, again, I want to keep the shop small so we can head over to Blathers now. All right, so we're going to go to Blathers, but first, I don't know how much room we have in our pockets. I'm going to pick up all of the items that we have in front, and then we might have to make a trip back to my house to pick up the rest of the bugs and fish. I don't know how many we have in our storage, and then, dang it drop it let's switch it out for something we don't need the bingo wheel there we go but yeah we'll go through these first and then we'll make our way back to my house to pick up the rest of the items that we have all right hello blathers i really wish they didn't make us go through this part one by one because you have to say like you want to donate everything like one at a time but i think we can group assess fossils so let's try this one first um, let's see. It's a brachial pelvis. There we go. I think... Actually, I think the fossils might be one of the easiest ones to open up, like the exhibits. Um, because you get six a day, I think, on your island, and then every once in a while you'll get one on a mystery island as well. So you could have a whole bunch of stuff to um donate in one day but i know I, by the end of like that exhibit it's kind of takes a while to get a few items because it could be like anything but let's go ahead and start donating all of the bugs and fish i still think it's very odd that he's scared of bugs because don't owls actually eat bugs because they're like carnivorous right they don't just eat like berries and stuff i think they actually eat bugs and <laughs> I saw this one picture where it was Blathers, like, terrified of, like, one third of the museum. If I can find that picture, I'll put it in here, but I thought it was so funny. It was, like, the thought of Blathers just being terrified of a third of the museum is hilarious, and I agree. Alright, we should have a good couple of items. I'm going to quickly donate all of these so you don't have to sit through this. And then I'll see what we have afterwards. Okay, so I just donated all of the bugs and the fish. And then I think we can assess the fossils. Yes, okay. Um, but he said we needed nine more items. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fossils. So we'll still have to stop by my house even if these are all separate items. But we'll see. Okay, he said each and every one. So I think they're all separate. Um, but I think we still have to donate them one by one, but let's take a look. I think he said they're all different. Mammoth, Jiraiya. Yeah, okay, so let me go ahead and donate all of these fossils and then we'll see what we have left over. Alright, BRB. Alright, so we are on our last fossil. Let's go ahead and get this donated. And it's the Mammoth Torso. 
and then I don't really care about listening to the information about it, so I'm a bit busy. And then he should tell us how many we have left. Let's see. We only need one left, but I know we have a couple things in our house, so let's go check there. I'm gonna pick this up, and then let's run over to our house. We also haven't seen our villagers today. I think- are they both home? Alright, so we have a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. I don't know which ones we've already donated, but I'm just gonna pick up everything. And then if we can't donate it- Actually, we can only donate one thing right now. So I don't think we've donated the monarch butterfly, so that should be good. Let's go over there now. Yeah, both are- both of the villagers are home right now. No wonder I haven't seen them walking around, but we'll go visit them after this. All right, Blathers, I have your final 15th item. Let's see, make a donation. And then, yeah, the monarch butterfly. And then this should be the last item we need. So our museum should be built um, tomorrow. Um, I think it will actually be in a tent for one day and then we'll get the museum after that. And that's also a good way to increase your star ratings because if you have the upgraded Nook's Cranny or the upgraded museum, they're like worth more um, points. I don't remember like what the category they're in, but for like the buildings, you get more points if they're the upgraded version. Um, so that's nice, but let's go see your villagers. Okay, we'll go see Tian Chang first. And he is literally just staring out the window. Okay, we'll talk to him though. I wonder if he'll ever give us the hat back. I don't think- I think we've missed out on our chance to get the hat, but that's okay because our hat we have on right now is the cutest one. And then let's go talk to Sylvia. Dang it, I thought she was going to be crafting. When did they start crafting? Is that only once the other three villagers get here? But let's talk to her. It's always weirded me out with the kangaroos how the babies, like the little roos, like, have the same facial expressions, like, they blink and close their eyes. At the same time, I wish they, like, blinked at different times. I think it would be a lot less creepy. And I don't like how they're, like, a twin of them. It just, I don't know, it creeps me out. Let's leave. But I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. We got a lot done. We're gonna get our three villagers to move in. We donated some leaves and then we should get the upper, the bigger museum and then we met Timmy and Tommy in their shop today. So it's been pretty productive. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure to give the video a like, comment, and to subscribe to the channel. We just hit 2,500 subscribers today, the 26th. So that's amazing. Thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed to the channel. But I will see everyone in the next video. Bye, friends. Still, I have no reaction, so I'll just stare at you, but bye.